Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. South Africa's catalytic converter industry is declining, struggling to remain globally competitive, even though the country is by far the world's top producer of platinum group metals, used in the manufacturing of catalytic converters. Engineering News Deputy Editor Irma Fenter tells us more. Hi, Omar. Hi, Tracy. What has led to the decline of South Africa's catalytic converter industry? Well, you had, had a very buoyant you know, catalytic converter in the manufacturing industry. I think in 2008, we produced like 16% of the world's production. Um, uh, we earned about 24.3 billion rand through that. And then we started to see a decline. So in 2012, we exported 16.3 billion rands worth of goods. Our factories are operating at 50% capacity. We're doing about 10 million units. So the industry is definitely in trouble. Um, what we see is that we had a government support program called the Motor Industry Development Program, MIDP. It was very export orientated, so you received a lot of benefits if you were a company exporting goods, like the catalytic converter industry, which is a 100% export industry. But then we got a new um, program from government, the Automotive Production and Development Program, the APDP, and that was much more focused on volume, especially on vehicle volume production in South Africa. So we had that interesting thing happen, which then led to the, the decline of the catalytic converter industry because they didn't receive nearly the same amount of benefits under the APDP as un under the MIDP. They were classified as a vulnerable industry to try and assist them, but it seems that it's just not working out for them under the APDP. And what can be done to save the industry? Well, uh, there's a few interesting things that are on the table. Uh, for one, I think governments may be a little bit upset with um, uh, the catalytic converter industry as well, because they said that you had 20 years under the MIDP to become competitive. Why hasn't it happened? Um, and they have their own responses to why this is maybe particularly not the case. They say they need, uh, for example, to offset the um, distance to market, where in South Africa to export to Europe is extremely um, expensive, so they need some kind of government assistance. So uh, proposals on the table now is for them to maybe go to the Department of Mineral Resources and look for some kind of beneficiation um, advantage that they could get. So I know the Department of Trade and Industry, which is the administrator for the APDP, said maybe there could be some geographical benefit to producing catalytic converters next to the platinum source. In other words, South Africa, there could be that. I know NACA, the um, Component Manufacturers Association, they're specifically looking at what they call a production tax. They want the platinum industry to charge a production tax for platinum. So they want the mines, for example, when they sell the platinum, to put a line item in the invoice to say this is a production tax, you levied this, and for that then to go to Treasury, and then for Treasury to give a certain amount or a portion of that to catalytic converters which is really the only industry in South Africa beneficiating the platinum group metals, of which we have 75% of the world's reserves. So they argue that um, because we have the world's reserves, like the Middle East had oil, um, we have platinum, that we are able to maybe push up the price a little bit and to, uh, and to reap some benefits from having 75% of the world's platinum reserves. So they're going to propose that. We'll see what happens. And then, of course, we can see catalytic converters maybe possibly getting a rebate if they're in South Africa, beneficiating the P PGMs to get a rebate on that production tax. Whether this will happen or not, um, it's an open question, and I suspect it will be a very long process to do this. So is it likely that government will heed the call of the industry? I think they're trying to, to help the industry because it employs 5,200 people. We're talking beneficiation. That's a, a very big a point on the agenda for government. And we can't just simply export all our platinum group metals. So I think they're trying, but they did warn that there is the danger of oversubsidization of an industry, catalytic converters, and that government can't do that if the con catalytic converter industry also doesn't come to the table and do something more to become more competitive, which I also suspect is a, is a valid argument. So I think they're talking, they're sitting around the table, they're trying to solve it, uh, which is always a good point. The question is just whether also whether they're going to move fast enough because we've already lost one factory. Magneti Magrelli South Africa will close down in April. There are talks of another one maybe closing down, so uh, I think speed is of the essence. Thanks, Emma. Thank you, Tracy. This is the Second Take Show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.